How's it going YouTube? Hey, this is a video to troubleshoot the Armada uh, air um, leveling system, okay, that's ran by the air compressor. So I'm gonna, looked up a lot of forums, uh, dug down into a lot of videos, and I'm just trying to create one video that can run you through some troubleshooting procedures. Okay. The first thing that I'm gonna want you to look at are your relay switch. Okay, you're gonna have two relay switches on, at least on my model, this is where they're located, right behind the battery. You have one here, and then one here. Okay, you're gonna be dealing with the one, at least on mine, the 07, you're gonna be dealing with the one that is towards the rear of the vehicle, so that way. Okay, the one that's up front, located here, that's for your four-wheel drive system. Okay, so front of the vehicle, four-wheel drive, rear of the vehicle is your uh, air compressor. Okay, one bolt, and then at the bottom is a little wiring harness that slides off. Take the bolt out, wiring harness back on, reverse order, put it back on, bolt in. Okay, turn it on, air compressor is still not kicking on. All right, um, you're gonna have to dive into the sensor and then the air compressor itself. As you can see, my vehicle is now sitting level. Um, it, there's the top. Okay, I was probably sitting about right here. I only had about three inches. I'm sitting at five and a half, six inches now. So, and I heard it kick on. There's a lot of videos out there that um, say that you're not supposed to hear the air compressor kick on. That is a bunch of BS. Okay, you're supposed to be able to hear that air compressor kick on. It's a real annoying buzzing sound. If you get a lot of rattling, that just means something's probably loose back there. So don't um, harm. But you should be able to hear that air compressor kick on below the vehicle so number one is your relay switch okay number two get down here real quick and I'm gonna want you to look at is your air sensor uh, your leveling sensor which is located right here okay it's connected into a harness to rule this in or out okay an easy way to do this is you will unplug this harness here and you'll see three holes what I want you to do is take a paper clip, take three paper clips or pins, something like that, that you can wedge into the holes. And what you'll do is you'll start the vehicle and you'll touch all three of those together at the same time. What that's doing is bypassing this sensor, <clears throat> okay, and it's just telling the air compressor to kick on. So if you do that and your air compressor does kick on, the sensor is what you need to replace, about $80. I know, right? Super expensive. Okay, let's say it does not kick on. Now you are moving to the air compressor itself. As you can see, mine is brand new because I had to replace it. Went through all the troubleshooting procedures and then um, test the connection using a voltmeter on the back of the air compressor and it was getting power in but it was not putting any power out. So that told me that I needed a new air compressor. <laughs> really easy installation. Do not just go to Firestone or uh, one of these automotive shops, they're going to charge you about $600 for a new air compressor and then an hour worth of labor because it's literally about four bolts to get this thing off. Okay, $256 on Amazon um, and it's the exact same, uh, exact same fit. I didn't have to do anything different. To get this thing off, okay, you have your two hoses here. Each of these two hoses are your airlines that run to each of your bags. You have two bags. I'll show this to you at the end of the vehicle, or at the end of the video, excuse me. To get these out, don't just pull on them. This orange piece is a part of the air compressor itself. You'll take a flathead and you'll push in on the orange and then pull the tube out. Push in, pull out. Okay. Up here. Uh, okay, you have one. Two, three, and four. So those are your four bolts to get it off. Right here, up at the top here, this disconnects right here. That'll disconnect out, okay? And then at the very top, biggest pain in the ass of the entire project is getting, let's see if you can see it. All right, so this hose, all right, that's where you actually get your air into the system. All it does is up here at the top, 
that plugs into the frame. Okay, all it is isn't like a little air filter. Okay, it's pulling air from inside of the frame so that way you don't get all that nastiness. Um, you know, from dust shooting up. Okay, so it just pulls air inside of the frame. All you do is pull that, pull that piece out. You can see where it connects right up there. You pull it out, put the new one in. Uh, but that comes with the system itself. Super self-explanatory. Harness back in. Put your full bolt, four bolts back in. <clears throat> two there, and then two up front, and that's it. Um, start the vehicle and see if your compressor kicks on. Lastly, see if you can see behind here, but right there, okay, that is your bag. That's one. I'm on the passenger side, rear passenger side, but sometimes um, that piece down at the bottom, that bag is, you know, it's just rubber, so it can have cracks. It can um, have holes. Uh, your air compressor could start working too hard because it's trying to fill up a bag that's just losing air, um, which you can burn out your compressor very easily that way. So if you find yourself sagging on one side, uh, most likely that you have a, um, um, a airbag that is cracked or broken. Um, you can get aftermarket ones, tire off, there's a couple of bolts up here up top up down at the bottom and then you have a hose right here that you disconnect from it put the new one in so overall that's really it um, so check the relay and then you got the air sensor and then uh, last you got the actual air compressor itself as soon as I put that uh, air compressor in um, today started the vehicle my uh, vehicle started filling up again so I hope this video helps and have a good day